a bit of madness. I have a special section down here for madness. And this was something that got my attention. It all started from Twitter about a year ago. A guy was on Twitter and he said, hey, I found a new reverse shell in SSTI. And he had this horrible thing that was like 100 characters long and punctuation marks. And it looked kind of like a SQL injection. And I said, well, what is that? And I went and read some blogs and stuff and figured it out. This is server-side template injection. Now, if you go to a modern website like Amazon or something, you know, back if you go to a simple website like mine, this is just a file sitting on my server called ed105.htm, and everybody that goes here sees exactly the same file. It's nothing but a plain HTML file being served. Now, that is the old, old Web 1.0 from 30 years ago. But the modern web does not work that way. If you go to Amazon, you see a custom page that nobody else will see. They have a content engine that fills in the blanks, like a form letter, customized to you. So there's a template, and there's an engine that fills in the contents of the template, and this is what modern websites use. And some of those template engines run on Python 3. So um, you can make your own Linux server doing it, but I'm just going to use mine which is here. I've set up one running this demonstration. So this is a dynamic web page where you can search for a user. So you can search for Fred, and it will always find Fred. There is no real database. This is simulating a very small portion of a modern website. So when you search, it will say user Fred exists. That's all it does. But this is enough to totally destroy the security of the system because you can put metadata in here. So if I put in like two, it will tell me two exists. But I, And if I put in two plus two, it will look for a user named two plus two. But there is a metadata character, and it's curly braces. If you put in double curly braces before the two plus two and after the two plus two, that means calculate that field, and now it tells you user four exists. So they person who designed this website should have not let me put in curly braces. These are the special characters like the apostrophe in the SQL injection we did yesterday. So I can now inject dynamic code into this page in this weird language called SSTI. But it turns out that this language is based on Python. And since it's based on Python, the thing that makes it vulnerable is a fundamental feature of Python. So let me show you how this works. This is pretty mind-boggling. So I'm just going to start from, yeah, we're going to go through the Python itself here. And you can do it in SSTI, but I think I'll start, let's just clear the screen and look in Python. So clear. Okay, so if I run Python 3, and I make a string. So when I type in that string, it's processed as a Python string. They're letting me type in an arbitrary string. So I'm going to set string equals hello. All right, I guess I'll use S to be consistent with my example. All right, so I've created a string object, and we talked about this before. It's not just a series of five bytes like it would be in C. It is an object with attributes and methods, and you can see them by doing a directory of S to see what that string contains. It contains all this stuff by virtue of inheriting it probably being a string. So you can find out what it, it class it is. One of them is underscore, underscore, class, underscore, underscore. That will tell you a property of your string. So if you do that, its class is string. OK, so it is an object with a class. All right, it also has, by the way, methods like upper and lower. Um, here's lower, and someplace is upper. So you can do s.lower. And that will make it lowercase. S dot upper will make it uppercase. So, you know, these do things you might want to do with a string. But what's interesting for us is to mess around walking up the hierarchy. Python is a object-oriented structure, and it has a root. So if my object is of class string, like this, I can ask, what is string? Well, that has a class, too. I can put another class here, underscore, underscore, class, underscore, underscore. And so string, s is type string, and string is type type. So that is a type object, and you can go up further from that. 
by going clash base. And now you have object. This is the root of the entire Python tree. By adding, starting with a string and adding these meta characters, I have walked up the hierarchy of Python to the root of Python. This gives me complete control of your computer because the people who wrote that engine included certain Python methods that they expected you to use, and they thought that's all you were going to use. But when they let me insert a string, I can walk up the hierarchy to the root, and now I can walk down the hierarchy until I find a way to import a method called OS. I can import the OS method, and I can run system commands from inside here. It gets sort of messy. <laughs> But by making a long string with this class base subclasses, catch warnings is one of the methods of the subclass which has a module that will import. I can execute an import command from inside the string. And I can import a library that the developer did not include in their code. And I can then run methods in that library. And one of the methods lets me run a command shell. So I can make it a kind of long mess, <laughs> but you can walk your way up, enumerate the subclasses, and find a way to walk back down. So when you thought you were just letting me log in with a username, you were giving me complete control of the computer <laughs> by not filtering out some of these meta characters. Just like SQL injection, you thought I was just logging in with username and password, but by putting in an apostrophe, I gained the ability to inject code. So it is pretty awesome. And there's a, there's a project here where you get to exploit this thing using this uh, relatively mind-blowing process. <laughs> and that's what I wanted to show you. It's um, Python is kind of too powerful for its own good. Anyway, uh, 